What's up my ponyos, Andy with Andy Vlogs, doing another review here, and uh, this is a gaming mouse. Mafidi, I did a, a mouse and keyboard review here, and Mafidi reached out and asked if I would uh, review another product. Just to let you know guys, where my bias is, this was provided to me complimentary. This is not an advertisement, I did not get paid to review this device. With that said here guys, this is going to be a quick unboxing of the device, and then I'm going to show you it in action, and we're going to play a couple of games especially uh, cyberpunk. Uh, this is gonna be your standard run-of-the-mill USB mouse. What's nice about this mouse is a few things. A, look at that. That is completely braided. That looks so, so cool. You've got a really nice, hefty, and sturdy USB. That is always appreciated because, well, I, uh, I, I'm needing a replacement. My death adder from 2000, nine is starting to come undone and also the USB port itself isn't being recognized because I've had it 10 years the copper inside the USB is wearing out nonetheless uh, this is really really light obviously uh, it's going to be this dark matte sleek design but what's nice is it's got built-in LEDs the logo is also going to be uh, lighting up and you've got a nice scroll thick scroll wheel You've got a scroll wheel button as well as a button right below the wheel. You've got your right and left buttons as well as side bumpers. This is really a base model that you're going to be using as a gamer, an enthusiast, a content creator, whatnot. Let's go ahead and plug it in and then show you what it's, what it's like. Going through all the uh, gamut of colors. I thought this would be more lit up. It's not quite... Basically, you just got your scroll wheel and the Mafidi logo lit, lit up. It might be. It's, it's slightly. It's slightly lit up. It's a very weak LED. Therefore, you're not getting much of a glow. All right, so this is what it looks like. I mean, you're getting so much sensitivity with it. I think it's great. Um, it's really grippy on the sides, which is nice. And what's also nice is how light it is. When you're gaming for a long time and, and you're having to move like all these micro movements, your wrist starts to get really painful. Uh, another thing that I've noticed here that's different from the Death Adder. Death Adder, you know, more gradually goes up to the to the apex here the top where the buttons are and this one starts a little bit sooner which is nice because I like to have more palm support than not and obviously there's 10 years at least between these two products this is so much lighter but I mean this is what you're gonna be getting right there all right let's go ahead and uh, move on into CD Projekt Red Cyberpunk 2077 and show you what it's like playing on the PC Master Race. Continue on with our mission. It's supposed to be really nice and sensitive. You can adjust a bunch of stuff within the game. But this mouse, I mean, I'm digging it. Okay, well, let's go find some thugs to kill. I want to show off my mantis arms. He's dead. There's someone behind me, you know, trying to kill me. Oh, that's a head smasher. That's another head smasher. You just dash up to him and you can do a chompity chomp. Where's he at? Oh, I got him. Wow, you did. That was insane. All right, you're getting the idea here. There is so much precision here. Not, I'm not a very good person to play or to showcase this, but nonetheless, it plays really, really well and super smooth. It's a very, very affordable option, and I think it, it'll be good for you. If you guys are uh, just looking to plug into something and play while you're on your free time, you're looking to have something portable i think this is definitely the option for you well guys hit that like button subscribe if you want to see more this is andy with andy vlogs signing out